Hi guys, welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carmen. Welcome. So I recently did a video on the relationship between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And in that video, I showed you guys if they are a good combination and why exactly they left their positions in the royal family and if they are likely to last in the future based on numerology. And so I got some requests from you guys to do a video going more into depth and more into detail about the relationship between Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton. Because if you look at the numerological birth charts of these two, it really does explain everything. And it shows you if any of the rumors that they don't get along with each other, if any of those are likely to be true and if they have any validity to them. And it shows you what kind of relationship they might actually have with each other. And so everything I tell you today is going to be completely objective and just based on the numbers in these numerological charts. I'm not going to be giving you my personal opinion today about these two. I don't really know a lot of information about these two. Everything is just based on numbers. I'm just going to be presenting you with the numbers that are in these charts and telling you the energy that these numbers represent. So I am not taking sides and saying that one of these two is better than the other. There's going to be good that's going to come out about these two, but there's also going to be some bad things that will come out as well. Because in numerology, all numbers have positive aspects, but they also have negative aspects too. And so I apologize to you ahead of time if there's something that I say about the numbers in these charts that offends you, or if there's something that I say that triggers you. I'm not trying to trigger anybody, so if I do say something that triggers you, I apologize to you ahead of time and I'm sending you my light and I'm sending you my love. And you don't have to know anything about numerology in order to watch this video today. I'm going to break it down and make it very simple. And I first wanted to thank all of the people that have subscribed and have liked my videos. I want to thank you guys so much and I appreciate all of your support and I love each and every one of you. And we will be doing more videos on the British royal family in the future since you guys seem to really like those videos. So subscribe to the channel so that you can stay tuned for those videos when they come out. So these are the four core numbers in a numerological birth chart. The life path number is the most important number in a chart because it is your main purpose in life and the main reason you were born. The expression number is how you express yourself to the world and how other people see you. The soul's urge number is what makes you happy in life and what brings you happiness. And the birthday number is all of the skills and the talents and the abilities that you come down into this lifetime with to support your life's purpose. Now, I have already gone ahead and calculated these charts ahead of time. I use a computer program to calculate these charts. I do not do it by hand. So if you want to calculate these charts on your own to verify this information, and to make sure that all of this information is correct, you are welcome to use one of the apps below that I have um, put in the description box to verify this information. These apps are completely free. All you have to do is put in the birth dates of these two and the first, middle, and last names on their birth certificates, and it will calculate their charts for you. And you can also calculate your own birth chart as well if you want. And just to keep in mind, Meghan Markle's full name is Rachel Meghan Markle, and Kate Middleton's birth name on her birth certificate is Catherine Elizabeth Middleton. I'm also putting out a video this week on how to calculate all of this information by hand, so I will put a link to that video below so you can calculate this by hand if you like. So before I talk about if these two are likely to get along with each other and to like each other, let's talk about Meghan Markle first. So Meghan Markle's life path number is a number four, and as you can see from the number meanings, four represents focus, dedication, determination, work, stability, and control. So the life path number is essentially who you are at your core, and it is your main purpose in life. So people with a life path number of a number four typically are very dedicated people. These are people that work really hard and they are business-minded people. So Donald Trump is a life path number four, and that kind of gives you an idea about what they're like. 
They're very business-minded people. And they're also very dedicated and determined to succeed in life. So they will do whatever it takes to succeed and to move up the ladder in life. They are very dedicated and they're very determined. And they will put in the work and they will do whatever it takes to move themselves up the ladder and to move themselves up and advance their position in life. So I'm not saying anything bad about Meghan Markle. There is nothing wrong with somebody who wants to succeed in life and is willing to do whatever it takes to advance their position. That's a good thing. That's why people with this life path number tend to be very successful because they will do whatever it takes to move up the ladder. That is very important to them. So these people also tend to be very loyal and they also tend to be very responsible as well. They also are people that like to be in control. So they like to be in control of themselves and they like to be in control of their lives and they like to be in control of other people also. So they have really good control over themselves and they have really good control over their lives. And I'm not saying that this is a bad quality, okay? You can interpret it that way, but having good control over yourself and other people helps you to run companies and it helps you to succeed. One of the reasons these people are able to run large corporations and huge businesses is because they have really good control over themselves and other people. So that control is what helps them to succeed in life. So you can interpret this in a bad way if you want, but that quality is what helps them to advance themselves in life and what makes them really good business people. Now, Megan has two fours in her chart. As you can see, her life path number is a four and her birthday number is also a four. So this means that she has an imbalance of this number. So imbalances are actually very common. I see this a lot when I'm looking at people's charts, but it is still an imbalance of this number. And so that means that she's not your typical four. She is double the four because she has a lot of this four energy. So that tells me that she's probably a very controlling person because all of the qualities of the number four, the good qualities and the bad qualities are doubled in Megan because of this four imbalance that she has. So typically in these people's minds, they see themselves as kind of being like the boss in their world and all of their friends and family are kind of like employees to them. So this is just the energy of the number. There is no judgment on this as being a good thing or a bad thing. And also another thing that I didn't even mention in the last video because I didn't want to make it seem like I was coming down too hard on Megan is that she actually has a karmic debt. So her four is not your typical four number. Her life path four is a 13 four karmic debt number. So not all number fours have a karmic debt, but her number four happens to have a karmic debt. So I'm gonna go more into detail about what a karmic debt is and what four numbers in numerology have karmic debts in future videos. So definitely stay tuned for those. So all you need to know right now about it is that it can be very difficult and it can cause a lot of problems for people. And so let's take a look at Megan's soul's urge number. Her soul's urge number is a number nine. And as you can see, nine represents service to humanity and endings because nine is the last number in numerology. So it often represents endings. And it represents humanitarianism because helping humanity as a whole is the last stage of evolution. So it is represented by the last number. So one being thinking more about yourself being the first number and nine thinking more about humanity as a whole. So it is represented by the last number in numerology. Now, because this is Meghan Markle's soul's urge number and the soul's urge number determines what makes you happy in life, that tells me that being a humanitarian and being involved in humanitarian projects is something that brings her great happiness. And that is one of the reasons why Harry was drawn to her because he also loves humanitarianism as well. And he's involved in quite a few hum humanitarian projects also. So that probably really impressed him about her. And I also wanted to point out that in the last video I did on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, I was attacked by both sides. 
So I was attacked by people for saying that she is most likely a controlling person. And I was also attacked by the other side for saying that she's most likely a person who enjoys humanitarianism. So I was attacked by both sides. And so I was really actually very happy to see that because that tells me that I'm doing my job and I'm being objective. And so I was very happy to see that and that's a really good sign. I don't know her personally and this is all just what she's most likely like based on these numbers and I didn't create these numbers, I'm just showing them to you. The last thing I wanted to point out about her is that because her soul's urge number is a number nine, she is most likely a person who really enjoys ending things. So remember, nine is the last number in numerology and people that have this as a soul's urge number or a life path number are people that want to end things in their life. So they will get into jobs and they will get into relationships with other people and they always have this inner need inside of them to want to end it. So they don't feel happy and they don't feel satisfied in life until something has come to an end. And this can be anything. It can be careers, it could be relationships with family members, it can be relationships with romantic partners. They just want to end everything. And we can see this with Meghan Markle. We can see this because she has ended a lot of relationships throughout her life. She's ended relationships with um, significant others, she's ended relationships with family members. She is probably somebody who enjoys a good ending. And that pertains to all past relationships and it also pertains to all present relationships. So that is something to keep in mind with her and Harry. And this could potentially be a huge problem for them in the future. So now let's take a look at Kate's chart. And the first thing I want you to notice about Kate's chart is that all of the numbers in her chart are in sync with each other. So as you can see, there's a three, there's two sixes and a nine. Six and nine are both multiples of three. So all of the numbers in her chart are in sync with each other and they're very similar to each other because they're all connected to the number three. So that tells me that there's a lot of harmony between these numbers. Now, Kate's life path number is a number three, and as you can see, three represents communication, socializing, joy, optimism, and creative expression. So these are people that are usually very creative individuals, and people with a life path number three often will become writers or artists. They often go into some sort of creative profession. A lot of them will become like singers and songwriters or um, fashion designers, something that's very creative. And this makes a lot of sense for Kate because one of the viewers had pointed out in my last video that her college degree is actually in art history and another viewer had pointed out that she's really into photography and she actually took photography lessons from Mario Testino who is a famous photographer so she's really into photography and is a very artistic person. I'm American, so I don't really know a lot of personal information about the British royal family. So thank you to those viewers for pointing that out to me. So these are very creative people, and that also means that they like to create families too. And often threes will have multiple children because creating children is part of the creative process. And that is something that they really enjoy doing. So another thing about the number three is that this is a number of communication. So people with this life path number often are really good at communicating with other people. They often enjoy socializing with other people and they tend to be very optimistic people. So we can see this with Kate. She seems like a very joyful person and she seems like somebody who is very happy. Now all numbers have positive aspects, but they also have negative aspects too. So the downside of the number three is that sometimes these people will be a little scattered. So often they will not focus their energy on one thing and instead they will scatter their energy on multiple projects. And the reason they do that is because that scattered energy really helps them with the creative process. 
So spreading themselves around and socializing with multiple people, that really helps them to create things. And three is a very easygoing number. So people with this number often are very easygoing. And so they don't take things as seriously as fours do. Fours take things very seriously. And so because of that, fours are not as easygoing as threes usually are. And this makes sense for number fours, because if they didn't take things so seriously, they wouldn't be as focused and as successful as they are. Before I talk about if these two get along with each other, the last thing that I wanted to point out is that Kate does have an imbalance in her chart like Megan does. She has an imbalance of the number six, so that means she has a lot of energy of this number. And six in numerology, as you can see, represents beauty, family, home, and service to community. So nine is service to humanity, and six is service to the community. So because her expression number is a number six, we see her as a person that really cares a lot about family and home and service to her country. And because her soul's urge number is a number six, what brings her happiness in life is probably all of those things. And because she has an imbalance of these numbers, that means that most of her time is probably spent on her family, her home, and her community. She probably doesn't spend a lot of time on herself. If you have an imbalance in your chart, I did a video on an easy way to balance an imbalance in a numerological chart, so I will leave a link to that video below and you can check that out later if you like. And so the big question here is, do these two mesh with each other based on their numbers? Well, as you can see, Kate's life path number is a odd number and Megan's number is an even number. And in numerology, the odd numbers tend to have a similar energy and they tend to go well with each other. And the even numbers tend to have a similar energy and they tend to go well with each other. So just based off of that alone, these two have a very, very different energy going on with each other. And another thing is the numbers that are right next to each other tend to be very opposite in many ways. So three and four are two numbers that are right next to each other and they are very opposite in many ways. Threes that are on the positive side of the number are very carefree and they are very easygoing and they don't take things as seriously as fours do. So fours are not as easygoing and they do take things very seriously. Fours are more focused on getting the job done and threes are more focused on having a good time. So there's a lot of differences between these numbers and these numbers do not go well together. They do not go well together on many, many levels. And it's not that one of them is better than the other, it's just that they have a very different energy. They're very different. Fours will often get really frustrated with threes because threes don't take things as seriously as they do. And so they will have issues with that and they will be confused as to why isn't the three more focused on, you know, becoming successful and getting the job done. And sometimes fours will look at the creative projects that threes are involved in, such as Kate's photography. A four might look at that and think it's a joke and think it's a waste of time because it's not something that's going to make you successful. It's not something that's going to bring you money. And so a four who doesn't have any creative numbers in their chart might look at that kind of stuff and think it's a joke and a waste of time. It's like putting an artist and a business person together. They don't understand each other and they don't understand why each other likes the things that they do. And so this alone will cause a lot of frustration and a lot of fighting and disconnect between two people. Another problem with this combination is that threes are really good at communicating and they're really good at communicating their feelings and fours are not always the best communicators. And so when there is some sort of frustration or disagreement between the two of them, Kate might expect Megan to be able to communicate the way she is feeling at the level that Kate is able to communicate her feelings. And when Megan is not able to do that, Kate could become frustrated at Megan and Megan might 
try to avoid Kate instead of talking to her, and that would cause even more problems in the relationship. Another thing about life path number fours is that when they do communicate their feelings, they can be very blunt with their communication. They don't always take the other person's feelings into mind. And they can say things that are very brutally honest to the other person. And they can say things that can really hurt the feelings of a sensitive, artistic number three. For your typical number four, this might not be that much of an issue. But remember, Megan is not your typical four. She's double the four because of the four imbalance that she has in her chart. And because threes are very easygoing, they often get over things very quickly. And the problem is, is that a lot of times fours, they don't get over things very easily. So if there has been some sort of argument between the two of them, it's most likely that Kate has put it aside and gotten over it and probably doesn't hold a grudge against Megan. But because of that double four energy that Megan has, there's a chance that she hasn't gotten over it completely. And I want to say one more time that I do not know Meghan Markle or Kate Middleton personally, and I do not know if they are actually like this. This is all just based on the numbers that I see in their charts, and this is just based on the energy of each one of these numbers. So there are some things that these two can do to improve their relationship with each other if they are having problems. And there are some things they can do to help make the relationship not as challenging. So the relationship is not completely doomed. One of the things they can do is just accept these differences within each other. Not try to change each other or judge each other's differences. Just accept that they are different and respect each other's differences. So if Megan is very blunt and brutally honest with her communication with Kate, she will have to tone that down and try to take Kate's feelings into consideration and really try to soften the way she speaks to her. Kate will also have to accept that Megan is not always going to be able to communicate at the level that she's able to communicate at and to just let it go and accept that. Fours need to feel like they are appreciated for little things, such as being stable people, being responsible, being hard workers. So any sort of appreciation or acknowledgement that they can give each other for qualities that they like within each other or qualities that they have in common with each other will really help to improve this relationship. And also finding common ground. So there are some things that they do have in common. Kate's soul's urge number is a number six. So what brings her happiness is service to her community and service to her country. And Megan's soul's urge number is a number nine, the number of humanitarianism. So they both have a passion for service, philanthropy, and charity. And this is common ground that can really help to improve their relationship. So if they focus on some of these things that they have in common and, you know, try to work together in this area, that could also really help the relationship also. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you think about all of this. I want to know what your opinion is. What do you think about everything that I just said? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to check out my services, I will leave the information to that below. I would love to have you subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. I am sending you light and love. Take care.